Good morning, special video today. I am at uh, Trust Hint in Worcester and we are doing some work on my Volvo 850 and uh, I'm quite excited about this. So let's go and have a look. Right, Dimmy over here uh, is Trust Tint Worcester and I can tell that he knows what he's doing, which is great. So I booked the Volvo in, it's nine o'clock on a Sunday morning, crack of dawn for me. Um, no, I'm joking, the kids had me up ridiculously early today. So we've got the Volvo 850 in the tinting booth and um, just before I started filming, we have been discussing what best to do. We've taken a look at what the factory tints are and we've worked out that the back window is what was that 72 77, so we got yeah, 77, 77 on the back from factory and i think it was 82 on the front 83 84. 83 84. so there is there is a small but not very yeah. so there's a not very noticeable tint as you go through it actually looks more tinted in here so there's a, there's a mild factory tint now we're taking this car on a bit of a road trip more on that soon and i wanted to get the windows tinted before we go um two reasons one privacy and to sun, which is why you get your windows tinted. So options on the window tints are anything from 5% visibility, 15, 35, 50, and then standard. So you've got various options as to what to go for. We've talked it through. And because I often have, well, I always have the kids in the back of the car. I once owned a BMW E46 M Sport um, Touring and it had limo tint 5%, which would be these, all the way through. And I always found it was just a bit too dark for the kids. So I've decided to go for a 35% tint on the doors and a 5% limo tint on the rear. Now you might think that I would go 5% on the boot lid, but again, because this is a seven seater and because I always have the kids in it, uh, I'm going for 35 on the boot lid. And also I don't like driving cars that are really, really, really heavily tinted. I actually had a really horrible experience driving my BMW 7 Series. You might remember that car. It was the silver M Sport that I had. And the tints on that was so dark that I accidentally pulled out on someone on the nighttime. I didn't even see his headlights. The poor chap must have had a heart attack. Um, so that for me was one of the reasons I, I really didn't bond with that car. It was too dark inside. That's a big thing for me. This car is all about the summer, hence the headlining. And um, so that, that's, that's the plan. Now, the other thing that I quite like, and you probably wouldn't really predict this from me, is I quite like those chameleon tint windscreens that you keep seeing everywhere. They are legal. Um, Dimmy here has a choice of two different colors. So there is the, the purpley blue, which is that one there. And then there is the ready, ready gold, which is reddish purple, reddish purple, which is that one there. Um, so I haven't completely decided if I'm gonna go for one of those today, but we will see later in the video. So uh, Dimmy here at Trustin quite clearly knows what he's doing. So I'm gonna leave him to it for a few hours. So we will check back in later on and um, see if the Volvo is ready for its, uh, ready for its road trip. So I shall leave you to it. Thank you. Thank you. The next day, the car is done. You can just about tell from this angle that I have gone for a cheeky chameleon tint on the front screen. I've always liked those chameleon tints and this one is a sort of reddy, yellowy, purpley, which suits the car really well. So as the light changes, the screen changes as well. I wasn't sure whether to go for it, um, but then I was sort of swayed whilst I was in the, uh, whilst I was interested and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna just go for it. I'll drop some footage in here as to what it look, looks like in different lights. I wasn't sure if I was gonna hate it or not, but I quite like it. And from inside, you can't really, well, so far in this light, it hasn't made a huge amount of difference, which I think is great. Um, so if you look like that, it does offer a little bit of shade. It is fully legal, but it does give you that kind of cool tint on the front windscreen, which might I add, first appeared, Correct me if I'm wrong, on like the Renault Megane in the late 90s, early 2000s. Do you remember, they were some of the first cars to come out with those purple tinted screens, and I thought they were really cool. So from inside the car, you can see that there is a difference just about between the two. Um, it's not huge, but it does mean that you can't 
even in this bright light, I can't see into the boot, which is what I wanted. Um, you know, if you're doing a large road trip, you don't really want people looking in your car. Now, interestingly, and this is where you need a good window tinter, these bits here are notoriously hard to tint round because you can't get the um, film to stick, basically. So what Dimmy did is he actually cut a small piece of black vinyl and did a black vinyl square there to get the tint absolutely perfect. I think he's done a really, really good job. I can highly recommend his window tinting services. And if you use the code Jeff2022, you'll get the discount shown. Um, I, I've not set that up yet. I'm gonna ask him about that. Maybe I can get you a discount with him for using, um, for using Trust Tint in Worcester. But there we go, that's all done. One more step closer to having this car completely ready for our road trip. Eight hours later. I gotta admit though, on the drive up here, um, I wasn't really enjoying just how tinted this window is. So it'll settle. It looks like it's got weird lines on it at the moment, but that'll settle. It needs to sit in the sun for a bit. That looks really good from here, but it is slightly darker from inside now. I wonder if I can show you outside inside outside inside that's not actually that bad to be fair because looking through glass would be you know you can see there the difference between obviously here the screen and over there the standard glass so it's very slightly darker and slightly more yellow i think i will get bored of this chameleon tint and rip it off in the winter but for the summer i think it's quite cool and a bit cheeky also today we have a 36 saloon i wonder which engine it is i bet it's a 1.6 it's a 2.3, it's a 3.2.3, nice. Is it a manual? I bet it's an auto. It's a manual! No way! A 3.2.3 manual saloon that hasn't been ruined by the Drift Brigade. That is crazy. What a nice little car. We've also got over here, past my chameleon windscreen, a Peugeot 406 Estate. Oh yeah, they're all out tonight. Retro car, retro car, retro car. It's just me nearly getting run over there. Massive Arnold Clark sticker on the back of the car. Why do people do that? I've said in previous videos, I always whip all the stickers off a car when I buy it. I don't understand why people buy these expensive cars and then leave a gigantic yellow and black Arnold Clark sticker on the back. Like you're gonna spend all that money putting your own name on your number plate and drive around with Arnold Clark's name on the back of your car. It's stupid, take them off. Anyway, it's starting to rain and I'm off to the shop and it's very windy. Jeff buys cars. Still, YouTube's most boring car channel.